You right finished here. with your old smartphone. What do you do with it? Do you give it to a friend or family member? Do you put it in a drawer? Do you throw it away? Is there even a right answer? The answer is definitely don't throw it away. Smartphones have lithium ion batteries. When punctured, lithium ion batteries can actually explode. So that's potentially dangerous. They've also got some toxic elements in there as well. There are a bunch of other cool things that you can do with your smartphone that will make the world a better place or just get some extra cash in your pocket. That's what this video is all about about. The first thing I'd recommend you try and do at least is repair your phone. There are a ton of tutorials online. iFixit is the best site in the world for this. Whether it's an iPhone which is a little bit harder or something that's incredibly easy to repair like a fair phone, this is the best thing you can do. If you saw my other video on the ethics of a super phone, you will know that there is a whole bunch of stuff that goes in smartphones from conflict minerals right through to a whole lot of transport. The carbon footprint of a smartphone before it's even hit you is astronomical. So the longer you can make it last, the less soon you'll have to upgrade to a new one, the better it is for the world. So try and repair it if indeed you can. And if your phone was never broken in the first place, you can always repurpose it. There's a cool app called ManyThing, which will turn your smartphone into a security camera. What this means is using the camera on the smartphone connected to Wi-Fi, wherever you are, you can get a view of your house, attach a nice wide fisheye lens to it, and you'll be able to see everything. There's also an app called Boy and Boink is one of the coolest things I've seen in my life. This uses the processing power of your smartphone to do micro calculations for scientific experiments over Wi-Fi. When your phone's plugged into the wall, connected to Wi-Fi and at 90% power or over and idle, your phone's process will start doing those micro calculations, doing things like helping cure the Zika virus and spotting asteroids. Boink. Check it out. The user interface isn't super intuitive or user friendly, but once you get set up, you can pretty much leave it do its thing. And if neither of those options are for you, but your smartphone is working perfectly, then you can always give it away. Whether it's to charity, Oxfam, YMCA, British Heart Foundation, or a specific cause. For example, Three has this incredible initiative called Reconnect. It will pay your smartphone with someone who needs it that bit more than you. Three's partnered up with a bunch of institutions that work directly with people in need. Three's also gonna give them a three month SIM card with data as well, so they can be connected to help them find that next job, connect with that family member who might be able to help them out, etc. Here in the UK, there's also an initiative called refugeephones.co.uk. This was big a few months ago. I haven't seen much on social media from them in a while. If the initiative is still active, it'll enable your smartphone to go to a refugee who is in a camp and potentially connect to Wi-Fi and connect to their families back home. You can imagine how much that would mean to them. For a less specific cause, it's raised over one million pounds since it started. Recycle for Charity will take your phone and recycle it for charity, exactly like the name suggests. Rainforest Connection is also an incredible idea. It takes mobile phones and connects them with solar chargers, puts them in trees, yeah, you heard right, and uses them as indicators as to when a tree is being cut down. The microphones are monitored and it's all in a bid to prevent deforestation. The sounds recorded from one of the smartphones used was actually evidence against a logger in a court of law. At least here in the UK, I've not been able to find a link as to where you can send your phone to so that Rainforest Connection can actually use it, but I will leave a link to the charity below. It may be different in your area. If you are in the US, there are a whole bunch of other services that will just do some good with your smartphones. Specifically, cell phones, soldiers, and Verizon's Hopeline. Hopeline donates mobiles to victims of domestic abuse. At this point, you're probably thinking the worst thing you can do is get cash for your phone. After all, look at all these people who may need that cash or that phone more than you you. That's not the case at all. The worst thing you can do is leave it in a drawer. There are a ton of ways of getting money from your smartphone. Samsung has a great trading program that gets you money off their brand new smartphone, the Galaxy S9. So if you're looking to trade in your old smartphone, it doesn't need to be a Samsung device. You can opt for going through Samsung's official retail channels in order to get some money off. A lot of networks like O2 here in the UK will also take your old smartphone and refurbish it, giving you some cash off your next purchase. 
If you prefer to go into a high street store, you can go into a game, a computer exchange, or any kind of pawn shop, and they should be able to sort you out with some money for your phone. If it's computer exchange, I know for a fact, they need to keep it for 24 hours in order to do some tests on it, make sure the battery can hold a charge, etc., and they will need some identification from you. So make sure you take your passport or photo identification along with you. Alternatively, there are a bunch of online services that do this. We buy any phone com I think it is, Mizuma Mobile, Enviraphone. There are also comparison engines so that you can type your specific model number in and you can find which service will give you the most cash. Finally, you can gift your phone to a friend, a family member, a loved one, colleague. But before you do this, make sure that you take out the SIM card, take out the micro SD card. If indeed your phone supports one, reset it, wipe the internal storage and disassociate your Google Gmail account or your Apple ID with your phone. This is really important. And if you don't do this, there's a good chance whoever gets your phone next may not even be able to use it. With any luck, this video has given you some inspiration as to what you can do with your current smartphone when it kicks the bucket and what you can currently do with that drawer full of smartphones that if you're anything like me, you know you have. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you've found it useful. If you like this channel, please subscribe, share this video, my old videos. It is all about communicating that there is more to tech than just the cool, shiny, shiny. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. I'm not a writer.